So if you found a fabric that you love, the best way to make a big impact with it in the room is to use it for draperies. And if you're not committed to a sewing machine, that's okay. You can make no-sew draperies that don't even require a needle or a thread. I'm gonna show you how. The first thing is to select a fabric that you love. This is our Henley pattern, which I personally love. The next thing you'll wanna do is to measure your window so you know your finished height of your drapery. Select the spot where you're gonna be placing the hardware and then measure down to the floor. So that's your finished height. Then you wanna add another six inches so you have the room to do your hem. Make sure you write down each dimension, just like I have done it. Do not leave anything up to memory. Once you have your finished dimension, you will just mark that with a piece of chalk. And I really like to chalk out the entire cut line, because remember, measure twice, cut once. <laughs> once you cut this fabric, you can't go back. Now, all you do is just cut straight across. And now all you do is take your yardstick, you wanna account for how much room you allowed for the header, which I allowed about four and a half inches for the header because we'll do a double fold here and an inch and a half at the hem. So you wanna measure that. So I'm gonna measure about four inches just so I know how much room I work for because I don't wanna end up folding too aggressively and come up with too short of draperies. So you just lay this at the top fold, probably about a couple feet is fine and fold over, and then you iron this first about inch and a half down. Once you've done this the entire length, the top header, it's really critical to have this a second time. So you want to take your hem tape one more time along the same exact length. You can cut it as you go. Fold this over a second time, making sure you don't fold past your chalk line. What this does is it gives you a really strong header so when you put your hooks or your clips on here, they have something to really grab into. The hem comes next, but remember you only have to fold that one time because it doesn't need to secure to anything. So that's why you have about an inch and a half left to work with. Once you have your header and your hem ironed down, it's time for the sides. And the sides are actually the really easy part because there's no measuring <laughs> required. You just lay your hem tape down and you can go in sections. Again, you can just rip it or you can use scissors. Fold it over once and you do the same process. You just iron straight across. And now for our final step, it's just hanging the draperies. Now you can clip the fabric once the rings are on the rod, or you clip the rings to the fabric before you even put them on the rod. But it's just that simple. And look at this, we have a finished drapery. I'm pretty proud of it.